He did it. <laughs> he OJ did, did it. it. OJ did it. OJ, OJ did, did it. <laughs> but the you know the work that we did do. Um you know, you know, first it starts with um like I mentioned, the the reference work, understanding and talking to uh, people who knew Deshaun intimately, interacted with him frequently um, at different phases of his life, whether that's uh, when. I know he wasn't talking about the uh, the masseuse. No, I think he talked about like family and friends, but obviously they're going to give you a glowing. Oh, I got to uh, say response. Right. Because you got 23 women that could give you an idea who he is. I think, yeah. but, but I think I'm quite sure like they got the, they, they spoke to the police. I'm pretty sure they spoke to the lawyers. They probably know just about as much of the cases the prosecutor does. And they looked at it, it was like, oh, this is, he good, bro. Come on. But they, I'm, you, I'm pretty sure before they gave this man 235, 253 million guaranteed, they did their research. I'm pretty sure like all those all those charges are gonna be come out to be mad frivolous, bro. I don't see nobody throwing away 253 million. That's a lot of Skrilla. No, I'm with you on that. I'm with you. I just, it's just amazing. This is amazing. Gainesville at Clemson, um, and then really, um, you know, multiple people up and down, uh, you know, the Texans organization across multiple leadership regimes. We use independent, um, you know, and investigative resources within the Harris County and Houston law enforcement community in order to get an unbiased and well-rounded and comprehensive. All right, so we got to get his gist. Like, he's just, like, going to do Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say he go like, yo he, he go corporate like, talk all around that whole time. Right. Like, that's why he is a he's probably I think he's the GM. That's why he has the position he has and he's not an actor. My God, we're gonna we talk to the the political and the, just yeah. say he talked to the police, bro, and they said he was good. Right. Yeah. Say all um, that to say just that. Make sure that um we just um uh just make sure we watched everything um that uh just Sean Watson did and um. We talked to a lot of people that he knew when he was a um, child and um, also when he grew up. Um, if you need uh, <laughs> a 300 word essay written, that's the guy. That's the right. guy. He's he going to stretch 300 words out of two paragraphs, bro. Right, right. Double space and all. Like, <laughs> All right, now let's hear the head coach. The organization did a tremendous amount of work on Deshaun, Deshaun the person, a tremendous amount of background. Uh, I understand the concerns uh, completely. I understand the questions. Like Andrew talked about, we, we understand uh, that there are questions to be answered. I have confidence in the work that we put in. I have confidence in the extensive work that our group put in to understand Deshaun. Uh, I'm really looking forward to coaching Deshaun. I know he's ready to get to work. And I'm looking forward to him being around his teammates. And really, I'm looking forward to him making a very positive impact in this community. And with that, I'll turn it over to Deshaun. Yes, I, first I want to say thank you. All right, so what, give, give me a – hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me your thoughts on what the head coach said because let me just go ahead and say it seemed like he was just very brief and it's like, listen, these guys bought in Deshaun and, you know, this is – you know, I'm just the coach. No, nah. that's just my look. You know, I'm not even getting that energy. <clears throat> I'm getting. We know he didn't do it. But all these people mad sensitive on this topic. And I don't want to offend nobody. So I'm going to just say as least as I have to. That's what I, that's, that's the feel I really get, bro. I just give you that. Now what I, I want to do is what I want to do is now. I want to because now it's going to be Deshaun's turn. And it's going to be your first time really looking at it and analyze it. So Correct. Please, let's Correct. Just look at this. You know what I mean? Let's no. just look. To, um, D and Jimmy Haslam and the Haslam family for giving me this awesome opportunity to be the quarterback of this historical organization in the Cleveland Browns. I want to thank AB and Coach Kevin uh, for also giving me the opportunity. Mind you, the, the owners are not there. And they're usually there in a situation like this. 
Just to, just, just to keep that in mind. Again, I think they're just trying to distance themselves. They don't want no pictures with their shoulder around this guy and just oh, like alienate wow. so many people. I think they're just trying to play it from afar. Excellent point. To come here to, to join this organization, join this locker room to lead these guys and be a servant leader. And then another opportunity for, you know, this organization for me to come in here and have the opportunity to show this community, show this city, show this organization, show, show this locker room who the person I really am. And that's the main focus that I want to do is continue to show. Let, I guarantee you, bro, let this cat go out there and ball the fuck out. And they win like 12 games. Everybody in Cleveland will forget all about any of these charges, bro. He's going to be their guy, hands down. Nobody's going to say nothing else about it. Now, we just said that Will Smith's going to have an asterisk mark on his career for the rest of his life. It's the same thing with this dude. I don't nah, care what he nah. does. There are 20 you know what? accusations out there, bro. You're right. Because in some people, because you know That's what? That's a lot people, of smoke. Some people, you're guilty until you prove it. You're guilty until you prove it innocent instead of the other way around. So he was convicted guilty in, in, public, in, people, in, in, in people's eyes as soon as the allegations were made. And if, if, you, if you apply any type of critical thinking and you look at it objectively, and when you have so many of those charges, right, come up, for all of them to be dismissed without, without any payments happening tells me it was nothing there. And when we in the age that women do things like this have 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 sexual relationships with someone of affluent and then turn around and try to use that as blackmail to get money that's the blueprint that isn't that, that's not new okay so you think all these allegations are false obviously they're being dismissed left and right okay. and if it was any way criminal charges would have been brought up immediately and again i'm gonna stand on my i'm gonna stand on my i'm quite sure that owner has quite a bit of money invested into people investigating these claims, these women, and the information he got from the police before he gave this man two hundred fifty-three million. Because as soon as he signed the paperwork, that money's gone. It's in his bank account. They're not getting it back. That's it. Fair enough. Fair enough. But listen, when there's smoke, this fire. So that's all I'm gonna say. But one thing, I also am very naive. I don't Judge realize me. that. Yeah, but hold on quick. I don't realize that this stuff is really going on. Like you could tell me all this stuff is going on. Like, I wouldn't think somebody needed that many massages by that many different women. I'm like, no way. That's just too much. Are you kidding me? So, like I said, I'm very naive. I, I don't know. But we have to. We, 23 women is a we lot. We have to look women, at it for what it is. Not for when you're young. You you, 23 not, for when you, not when you're young, you have money, and you like the company of pretty women. So, so again, we these aren't. Masseuse. Okay, these are these are full service masseuses. Let's 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 get that there. They're not coming just to rub knots out of his shoulder. You dig what I'm saying? So, if that's where he choose to spend his money instead of going to the strip club to get those masseuse services, he had an in home masseuse services. So be it. I'm not judging because plenty plenty of people uh, affluent people do. So I'm not judging. Bad decision making, maybe. We got that's we gotta, about all we gonna get we out of that fact, bad decision we making. Fact check that we got to fact check that because a lot of these things and some of the stuff that I've heard, it's like it's crazy, and it don't sound like these were um these type those type of masseuses that you're talking about. So let's get back into it. Let's Bruh, just, if if they're promoting their services saying. on Instagram, bro, that's what they are. They're not models. They're not no. They 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 are back page ads. Right. Like, that's that's what they are. Let's just hear from them. That doesn't mean that he didn't force. So I mean not allegedly obviously but that doesn't mean that he those they can be those type of women but that doesn't mean that they have they don't have the right to be like all right look i don't want to do this i didn't come here for this right uh, every right? woman does but right, i doubt that's saying. what happened it was all right. it, let's just hear my, you know what the question is because hold on before you continue if it happened right i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure when they left out of the, the bedroom the the, the soon they got out the hotel room police and back out his house was the first place they would have went. That would have happened right off the dick. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have. It wouldn't have took him to get up to twenty five and twenty six and and twenty. The first was within the first ten. At the first ten, he took something he didn't. What he wasn't supposed to from these women. No one. Uh, no one uh, went to press charges on 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 that day or the following day. I call BS. Tear this guy out, man. 
for who I really am and get my story out eventually. Um, we'll start with you. Uh, Tom Withers, Associated Press. Deshaun, um, there are a lot of, as Andrew and Kevin mentioned, there are a lot of people that are very conflicted over your arrival here. Um, they've read the sexual allegations. They've seen the lawsuits. What do you want people to know about you as a person? Who are you? We know about you as a player. Who are you as a person? Um, the biggest thing for me is as a person, I'm genuine. Um, I'm hardworking servant leader who loves to be social in the community who loves to give back, very kind of team oriented. So I love hanging out with my teammates, but also I want to be able to show that eventually and get out into the community. I've always been hands-on in the, the community of Houston, back home in Gainesville, back home in Clemson. And that's what I want to do is be able to get back to that. He gonna buy his way brand to the or get back to that person that people knew I was before, before all these allegations. Jake? Yeah, Andrew, just to be clear, uh, nobody from the Browns or representing the Browns spoke to any of the 22 women who've made allegations, correct? We, 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 like, like I mentioned earlier in my opening statement, J Jake, our attorneys advise us that reaching out directly could be considered interfering with a criminal investigation. But that's the reason that we did hi hire independent investigators to make sure that we could get that comprehensive and holistic perspective. The investigators you hired did speak to the women? Also, the investigators that we hired were able to get a full perspective of, of all the cases. Yes. Not to be I'm going to say the full perspective of all the cases. I'm not going to go into necessarily the details of what of everything the investigators did, but they got a full perspective for all the criminal and civil cases. Okay. Xavier. Yeah. That means that other stuff could come out. We don't want to say that we actually know about anything that might come out. So we're just going to leave this right here. So that 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 kills your point that these were nah. just regular like um, prostitutes. That That's didn't, kind of that didn't say that. that. That said, no, we didn't talk directly to these women because we couldn't. But before we gave this man two hundred and fifty three million, like I said before, before we, we even heard before I even heard investigators and stuff like that, we had some ex cops who serve as investigators for private companies, went out there and got all the information for us after they spoke to the police. After they did, they looked at all the information. They realized that it was B.S. He's going to beat these charges and these women are B.S. in this. If he was hiring prostitutes and this is these, and this is what these women were. Mm -hmm. That's criminal, right? Across state lines, across state lines, you hiring prostitutes during the pandemic. That's criminal. That's a criminal charge. So let's not get that. Let's not get that um twisted. Okay, fine. These, if that's these might not have been prostitutes, but these are not prostitutes. These are these are masseuse, bruh. That's the that's no. They're not gonna put their whole back pay ads on there. They put their masseuses. That's what they put. That's the title they run under. That's how it goes, bruh. That's how it goes. Obviously not. Yes, obviously. Same, like I said, the same way. Times that twenty-three times that he did it, or whatever it is, twenty-three times. Uh, uh, people thought otherwise. Put it that way. Alleged. Just, no, bro. Yeah, I don't think. I think you're underestimating how scandalous these women get when they get with men of money or when they find themselves in a situation of affluent men. Like I think you. I think you misunderstand that. Again, like the right. same way the broad went in the garbage to take the rubber out of the garbage and put it back in and put it inside of her to try to get pregnant by Drake. And then she sued Drake because he put hot sauce in the condom before he put it in the garbage just in case somebody tried to do that dumb shit. Right. And she sued him because she got hot sauce in the coochie. Bruh, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I think you're underestimating the level that these women go to because it only takes is one. And, and, and a lot of times they're going off, they're playing the odds that it's never going to make it to court because I'm playing the odds. You just going to settle out of court to make this go away. A couple mil, a couple hundred thousand of you is chump change to make us go away and boom, no harm, no foul. That's what I think they, they were, they were, they were playing for. And that's why he said, I'm not paying no settlements. He said, I'm not paying no settlements. I want to take it to trial. Because right. he hundred percent sure he was going to win, because I know he knew what he was getting into. All right. They were masseuses with happy endings, and they felt they can get some money. John, I think as this is, as details have come out, some people have wondered um, why you've used the number of massage therapists that you've used. Can can you kind of explain that number? 
Uh, yeah, I can't get too far into detail because there's an own going investigation still. But I can say that with this now day and age, um, especially with my age group, social media is a big business part um, that, that goes to it. So that's you know a factor into it. But as far as the details, I can't get too far into it because there's an investigation going on. But hopefully, you know, once everything is resolved, I can speak freely on it. Kind of reevaluating your methods or how many you use or how you find people. Um, definitely, this is something that. With my team and now with the Cleveland Browns and the organization, we find a plan and, and move forward from it. Hey, they're going to provide us masseuses for them. Hey, yo, hey, yo. I'm pretty sure they're like, yo, Deshaun, check this out. We know you didn't rape these women, like, but we were ha- they were happy in the massages. We understand what happened. Bad judgment. Like, we, we see you're going to rock this out. You're going to win this. We're going to give you a skrilla. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to set you up and we'll handle all your appointments for masseuses. We have our own vetted, credited masseuses. Wink. Accredited. To take care of your services. They're accredited. They licensed fresh from Las Vegas. They all got licenses for their services and they file taxes for the, for the masseuses that they give. We mm-hmm. got you. Don't worry. What do you say to Browns fans <laughs> to convince them that you're not the person that is described in these complaints and suits? And do you sort of understand why it can be hard for people uh, to, you know, believe that right now, given the sheer numbers involved? No, definitely. I understand the whole circumstances is very difficult, especially for the, the, the women's side of the fans in this community. Um, I'm not naive to that. I know these allegations is very, very serious. But I, like I've mentioned before, I've never assaulted any woman. I never disrespected any woman. I was raised by a single parent mom who has two aunties, who's her sister. And that's who, that's who raised me. I was raised to be genuine and respect everyone and everything around me. So I've, all, I've always defended that and I will continue to stand on that. And I just want the opportunity to be able to show who I really am in the community and be hands-on and help people and serve other people. Andrew, I was just wondering, why did you think Deshaun was worth the risk of a groundbreaking contract, especially with the uncertainty of, you know, possible NFL action? And it's pretty straightforward from, you know, from a football perspective. Um, you know, we think he's, you know, one of the best, you know, players at the position in the sport. Um, you know, he's obviously in his in his prime, and we think it's the most important position in the sport. It's a lot of um uh um very like yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say the right word, say the wrong word. Uh um yeah, it's just awkward for everybody, bro. Yeah. Like, and went back to the Browns. How much of that had to just do with the contract? Um, actually, it had nothing to do with the contract. I didn't know about the contract until I told my agent that I wanted to come and be a Cleveland Brown. That was secondary. That was after the fact that we spoke on the phone with A.B. and Kevin and, and the Haslam family. So that had nothing to do with me choosing the Cleveland Browns. Why did you originally turn them down? Uh, it wasn't necessarily a, a, a turn down. I think the media was kind of rushing me to make a decision and I wasn't comfortable with making that right decision. And so the you know, news get out and things like that. But, you know, for me, I knew that Cleveland was the best situation for a football standpoint and just for a, a, a community and family atmosphere. And these guys mentioned it before. Once I got to meet these guys that sit up here, Coach Kevin and A.B. and the Haslam family, it was just that connection that we just had that bond. And I knew that this was a perfect situation for me to have a fresh start, go win some Super Bowls and, and move forward and, and build and build this community as what we want to uh, build it as. Carol Rogers? Yeah, Deshaun, this is something that is going to stick with you for a long time, this perception. How do you repair your image? How do you restore your, your name? No, I understand that. And I know that there's going to be a stain that's probably going to stick with me for a while, but all I can do is keep moving forward and continue to, to, to show the person that I am, the true character, the true person, the true human being I am. Like I said before, I've never done the things that these people are alleging, and I'm going to continue to fight for my name and clear my name. And like I've been doing, just cooperate with everything that comes with it and just keep moving forward. And then as far as the job and, and what I need to do as a, on the football side is to lead this team, help this team win multiple, multiple games and Super Bowls. And that's my job is to continue to put all that together and work with the Cleveland Browns and 
you know, just keep pushing for it. If you, if you go back and watch our first video when we did the show on Watson, when it first happened, right? Like my viewpoint didn't change from that particular day. I, I called it as soon as it happened. I called exactly what it was. And it's panning out to be that bunch of false accusations, a bunch of money grabs. And it's going to come out that way. But the sucky part, though, is when it comes to this and men, you are guilty until you're proven innocent. And the allegation sometimes is enough to destroy your career for, for a long time. Luckily, he can get that $253 million, Don't really not give two issues about how people feel about him going forward because now he has the money and he's good. But it'll be fine, bro. Right. Still, but that was awkward. Like it was still awkward. Definitely awkward. That was a it's lot like, of a lot of different massages that was needed. That was that was crazy. That was yeah, crazy. he's young. I'm quite sure. Like, I mean, if you got the scriller, like, man, you might as well massage it daily, bro. Like, let's, let's, <laughs> let's stop <laughs> fronting, man. Like, let's yeah, stop fronting. Ronald West, Xavier Carnegie. <sighs> Till next time, man.